Hey there, folks. I'm Zerfall. I'm All Dragon, and I hope you're ready to get uh, into into the void, because we are in in into the void right now. And, and we're not going to go out of the void. We're going to stay in in definitely into not. The void. That is out of the question. Um, we are, however, going to use an item. Uh, we're going to make Elmandra to do it. It's fine. From the inventory. We've got ourselves a scroll of maps. Yeah. Just I think that we have two of them. 25% chance. Yeah. But it's not worth selling, so... We're starting oh. at the top corner. This makes this nice. is the best place to start. Yeah, no. When it comes to drawing a map. I agree. <laughs> Super easy to uh, to start. Yeah, where are we again? Let me count. Okay, um, <laughs> we are. Let me see. Zero, zero. Okay, I'm there. We've got a, a squiggly uh, oh, corridor to very kick things serpentine. Off. Serpentine. You gotta, you gotta go serpentine. Also, watch out for squibs. The only downside is that we don't actually get to see very much of what's going on. That is true. That is true. A little figure right there. We build back up. And a little two by two over here, it seems. All right. Let's get serpentine, I guess. Got it. Uh... We just gotta check the inventory. Ah, oh, it's personal. <laughs> this time it's personal. <laughs> it's still there. Still there. They didn't expect us to be so invisible. Uh oh. That's a big room. Does that look like uh, the extent of your map? Yes, definitely, because it was inside the corridor, so. Who's going to be the, the person? We'll make Zerf do it this time. I don't know that. Oh, yeah, you can. Okay. Oh, I think that uh, scrolls anyone... can be used by anyone. Ah, uh, okay. Which is why they're so easy to break, because you right. have peasants manhandling them. <laughs> that is a big room. It's pretty It's pretty big. That's the void. Big room. Are we sure we want to go into the void, then? Well, it's dangerous, but someone's got to do it. Are we... Eight by nine. Longitude is horizontal. There's got to be something up with this big room, too. Oh, there's going to at least be some lore in the center of it, I'd imagine. You have to walk on this very specific square to get uh, the uh, story elements. It's actually kind of mean. Yeah, you had it coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do we have uh, True Sight up? Oh, we definitely don't, so there might have been a bunch of secret passageways there. So, sorry. sorry. <laughs> eh, eh. It just does that. We can always go back if we uh, think that there's something that we missed. Very true. I say we press on for now. This other room off to the side here is very interesting as well with its little 
Uh, you I know see what, it probably, a, it's probably one of those bathrooms that doesn't have doors, right? So they have. To I have see a little. little I see a little smiley face there. Not not a smiley face, but just kind of like a yeah. contented face. Oh, I see it as more of a face. <laughs> nah, it's like someone's uh, soaking in a hot tub kind of thing. Just ah, uh, yes, yes, that seems good. sort of kind of thing. Oh man, my in-laws have a hot tub. Mm-hmm. And uh, during March break, little Zerfina, uh went over there to stay for a few days, and they they used it, and mm -hmm. she was just flabbergasted by this thing. <laughs> it was amazing. It was like a tiny little pool. <laughs> it's so warm, and you can go into it when there's still cold things outside. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're pretty much good to go here, I guess. This goes all the way down. Having a giant room kind of makes it easy, doesn't it? It does. There's a bit of a gap at the bottom right of that room, too, to get yeah. out of it. That's probably the uh, exit. Do we want to go? Because there's also a gap over to the right. To the right. Do we want to go over there or go down first? Um, Man, that's actually a hard question because one may want to uh, just continue going serpentine. Let's get our true setup first, though, here, so we don't uh, walk into a room yeah. that's full of death traps or something. Yeah. <clears throat> I say as I accidentally walk up twice. <laughs> Level five? Yep. No! Yep. Well, no, those aren't death zones, are they? No, they're not. They're spinners. Oh, so this whole area is just filled with spinners. And a hole in the corner. <laughs> That's how they get you. But because there's no walls. Oh, man. And it's just that. Okay. Interesting. I mean, I guess we might as well go this way first. Considering yeah. we're here right now. Yeah. I mean, so far as we know, it's just as good a route as any. Do you want to just go all the way down it and then reveal location at the end? Um, I think we want to go that far. Okay. All right. Who's gonna be the Who's gonna be the unlucky one this time? Oh, let's have Lethal do it. Okay. You said him Lethal. From the inventory, will you destroy this scroll of maps with your giant ogre hands? I don't think he did. Very serpentine indeed. And we're next to another serpentine. Yes. In a very odd shape directly above us, outside of the serpentine. And then there's another serpentine next to that, too. It's a lot of serpentining. A lot of serpentining. A few Tetris blocks. Serpentine goes to here. All right. I love when a good serpentine actually lines up once you've. <laughs> I can make it hard to uh, keep track. Yeah. Well, and I went to the end of the serpentine and said, I have to go back from here to get back to it. <laughs> Which might not have been the best idea, but it turns out it was. Because it worked. And yeah, if something works, it, worked. it must have been the best idea. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fully agree. Which is why pen is the best way of mapping these things out. No. So many jagged lines. I 
I keep that uh, serpentine going. All right. That's got to be close to the bottom of the map, eh? One, two, three, four, five. Well, where are we? We're at 18. It's 0 to 24 by 0 to 24, right? Yeah. Yeah. We're at 18 right now. Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Yeah, we're like one from the edge. Yeah. Only we got one more. Eh, let's just see where this goes then. Follow the winding path. Keep me an eye. Oh, there's a door down there. A door. It's so magenta in this place. Ooh. Many dwarves are mining here. Their foreman says, A wizard named Murr has hired us to dig these tunnels. Oh, have you thought of digging them in a grid pattern instead? Have you thought of uh, digging a tunnel to get here around the lava? <laughs> uh, no, we were not hired for that. Oh, secrets. Uh, that's a secret door. Uh, the secret no. door leads to the... Yeah, the now door. that... that uh, we might want to go back to the uh, that big room and see if there's any other doors in there. Because do we want to go into that section or do we want to go into the smaller section if there's secret doors here? Well, I mean, there has to be, right? Ooh, secret door this way. Yep. Oh, ah! Panic mode. Should be having your old king do that. There's and there was an there's another one there. Secret doors. Oh, man. So... This one goes into a pretty open space. Well, we've got two sections that we know the limited size of. Well, yeah, this... As far as I know, these two secret doors might meet up. Well, that's true. But, I mean, we, we've gone in essentially a crescent shape. So, unless there's a secret door back out into the uh, uh, corridor that we came into at the beginning... Yep. Uh, this so, is all enclosed, so we might as well explore this first. Oh, man. Alright, let's throw down one more. Bean's going to take care of business this time. I wonder what it'll say when, we, when that gets destroyed. There's a lot of one-by-one one rooms over there. Yeah, I was right about this other one also being a Tetris block, though. <laughs> Somebody hit the B button on it, though. Alright, so... is a serpentine but extra stretched out Up the yeah side. it's got a steeper slope it's not at 45 degrees does it even count then yeah sure <laughs> it's still snaky thus serpentine That's a lot of ones. Those have got to be cells or something, eh? The one by ones? Yeah. It's gonna be a lot of in and out. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. Well, let's go up and around here because there's just one more little area we don't know about, and this seems to lead to it. Or it's gonna be a dead end when we get around the corner here. Oh, there's already Is that a, a door. door? This is a regular door. I thought we saw. I thought I saw a secret door behind us. 
I thought that, well, oh, you did. I thought that was the one we came out of, but obviously. We're in the Tetris block, right? Yes. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, hello. Is the other Tetris block? Yeah. Ooh. There are dwarven writings on the wall which read, Myrrh has returned from the void. But we're in the void. No, How we're can return into from the, the void, void if we're I don't know. Technically. We're just into yeah, so this should be just a little dead end up here, but who knows what's in it. Ooh. There's a door there. And a secret door. And a secret door, which leads into the next little group. And another secret door. Oh. You have found a glowing green emerald jewel. You take it with you. Sweet. Elmandretta grabs that. That's hers. <laughs> is this is this a jewel of, you... of uh, intelligence or anything? No, none of you can have it. This is hers now. All right. Well, that's, that's that zone. It's got to be the key, right? It's got to be. Oh, well, unless it's a... Unless it's a rod of life, which it's not. <laughs> Alright, so then this one here is the other... Gotta keep an eye out while we're in here. Don't make me poke you. Hold in the eye. Ah! Like the extended serpentine. Oh, is this, this is one of the little side rooms, eh? Nothing. I gotta start saving before going indoors. Uh, we'll just throw a little save down right here. Probably a good idea. Because this is one of the... Oh! Ugh. There we go. You hear the ground rumbling and grinding sounds as if someone was eating stones and lumps of dirt. And in here is a teleporter. Or a wormhole. Ooh. There goes our invisibility. Do we want to get into a fight or um not? I don't think yet. Okay. Uh check JG's equipment just a second because I will forget to do this when we come out of doing something else oh you think JG has an invisibility item now you need to go into his view you need to view him not an invisibility I think he has uh, a like the scroll of Cotier what does that do remove no, curse remove curse okay um someone I'm pretty sure had something that did Uh, restoration. Should, should, should Lethal be taking this potion to speed that he's got? Uh, it's just like haste in in battle. Oh, uh, okay. I thought it was like a, a one up to your agility or something. The other no. potion no gem. You might have sold it. We have a, a virtue shield. That's just a ton of stuff. I think we likely did, because at the time we uh, were check like... Check the Staff of Light. And then the Ring of Regen. Lightning Bolt. Okay. Yeah, that's the thing that does restoration. There you go. Do you want to use it? Um, I mean... Did it have anything other than it does that? No. 5% chance of destruction. Here we go. We 
can use that to uh, stay uh, topped off in hit points. What was that? You hear the sounds of dwarves digging. They sing and whistle as they dig. Hi ho! Off to work we go. So stereotypical. It's not quite the same. Oh. Whistle song, oh. but. Oh. Oh. Ah, oh, it's a way down. Hmm. I don't think we're quite just ready for that yet. Yeah, just make a note of that. Teleporter in, teleporter out. Interesting. Unless we get to a point where uh, we don't know how to get to a thing, it seems like we shouldn't take teleporters, I think. Yep. I agree. For now. Although they always keep you on the same floor, right? So. Yeah. But I suppose it's possible that you'd have to go down, otherwise go down to get to it, and then back up to get to a section. That could be true. I just figure, you know, I mean, since since floors are, are self-contained, where, you know, you get the key, you fight the boss, you get the two tablet pieces, um, and then there's the item. Uh. It, it, it just feels like... Uh, Staying on the same floor, I mean, like, exploring around until you get to a point where it's like, okay, we haven't been into this one place. We haven't found a door, so there's got to be a way in. Uh, did you take a uh, teleporter? No, I didn't. I took... Oh, you okay, you went through the secret door that you knew they was there. They us magic yeah. points. Okay. This Sorry, is, just this seemed is like, why. Just seemed like you teleported there. Keep in mind, dear viewers, I'm getting a lower frame rate because this game doesn't need it that much. <laughs> mm, sure, sure. To be fair, you looked at a wall and then we teleported away from said wall. So it's not <laughs> a ridiculous thing. Let's just go serpentine number one to start. Serpentine. Oh, they thought they could trick us into thinking it's a dead end, but no. It's a one by one room. You've reached a newly dug out area of these tunnels. You find another secret door. Oh, hey, another secret door. Hey. Oh. That's looking like a room that needs a, uh, a gem, maybe. Yeah. You want to walk through? I'm going to throw a little save down here first. You place the green emerald onto the pedestal, and the glowing green door begins to open. That was a blue door. It's actually glowing and green. That's why it looks blue to you. Mm. But there's I'm going to try to take doors. the gem back. Oh. <laughs> now, the thing that ran out is actually oh. just... Invisibility. Yeah, and it does put up the text, can't see. So this is just a big room. This Got is just it. a big room. Which is also interesting, because I think that means if we look to the right, there's the other door. It didn't really matter. Yeah. And there's two doors, doors here. Two doors uh, when we went down. Oh, no! Oh, no! I was hoping to find three doors down. Okay, there's the lawful uh, a one. lawful. This is just exploration now, because we have a An safe. awful lawful? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just go through and, and see what... No, this one's not lawful. This one is... No, the other one was awful lawful. That's neutral. Which probably means the next one is going to be chaos. Yep. And it's going to kill us all. Such is life in the Serengeti. Party is destroyed. Wait, but before I hit space, what if I just cast a spell real quick? I, of course, had to wait until the disc was not loading <laughs> before loading our quick snapshot. So I'm just really curious. Check the other one. 
Oh. Hmm. A warning sign reads, Turn back, monsters from the void, seek the souls of the living. Don't let it be you. Well, maybe I will. Behind the sign, there's a poster with a, um, a bearded uh, uh, monster pointing at the uh, <laughs> viewer. I want you for your soul. Come give it now. Join the demon army or whatever. <laughs> oh, man. Well, this one's definitely a little more. Not dying. Whoa! Oh! From out of the cold, black darkness, something terrifying is reaching at you. Your lives are threatened. I cast a magic missile at the darkness. <laughs> Pardon me. Let's hope it doesn't get the get a. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, what's it? Fifteen titans, fifteen balrons, fifteen demogorgons, fifteen orcuses, and one void phantom. Yeah. You know, if you send fifteen dollars to the right address, the demogorgon will turn into a fully licensed gorgon. <laughs> Once you insert your your key that gets mailed back to you. What if it's actually a demi gorgon rather than demo gorgon, and we've just all misspelled it? <laughs> you know, it's uh, not quite a gorgon. It's only partial gorgon. It's part way there. Titans are humanoids. Minus 10 AC... It has swing, heal, stun, and kill. Four swings for 1d40 each. Ow. Yeah, but they might only have 50 hit points, or they might have 500. No yeah. Deal. I'm not gonna... All right, ball run. Nice portrait there. One swing, 1d13. Uh, swing, kill, rust, drain, yuck. Nasty jams, okay. Uh, Demogorgon, 1d30, three th swings, swing, summon, kill, and drain. Eh, summon. I like summon. Minus 15 armor class, though. So. Orcus, 1d20, three swings, swing, cast, stun, and kill. Mm. And the pièce de résistance. Two swings, 1d40, a swing, cast, cast, and void? What the heck is void? I mean... I, I don't recall ever seeing void before. Hold on. I think we have, but I don't think we really remember. Where's my instruction book? This is the... Let me use more instruction book this way. I'm doing a search. Uh, permanent exile. Permanent. That sounds like getting more party members. They go into the they go into the void. A powerful vortex condemns a player into nothingness. Save versus strength. Oh, witless saves here. Drain is save versus health. Rust is save versus agility. Kill is save versus health. Uh, gaze is save versus IQ. There you go. Charm is save versus charisma. Stun is save versus wisdom. Boy, it's almost as if we should have read some of this stuff, huh? We read some of it. Just not <laughs> the parts that mattered. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, I guess when we get back, we'll make our first attempt at this and see how well it goes. Uh, yeah. Hopefully it doesn't go the worst ever. He can't summon, at least. Yeah, there's that. See you then. See ya.